What's happening, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. This one's going to be a pretty good video. I'm excited for this one. So first things first, we're going to pick up where we left off in Bitcoin. Um, we're going to talk, touch on the charts real briefly, just kind of give you my thoughts of where we're headed. Um, and then we're going to dive into the Profit Trailer 2.1.0 release. There's a lot of cool new stuff, new buying strategies, et cetera, et cetera. And then we're going to touch on some more of the advanced stuff in the PT Feeder Wiki which is which is where we're on right now the wiki.pt feeder um this is the advanced section and where we can kind of give our own groupings and this is going to be really powerful with these new profit trailer buying strategies the new trailing um, smarter trailing features um, i'm really excited for this this is going to be pretty cool so i'm going to be setting up a new set of settings and and they'll still you know coincide with defenders so we'll we'll try and work these all together but but my thing is join the discord so our link is in the description um of this video join that that conversation in there and whatever channel you guys want to see settings for and myself and the moderators are are actively working to to give you guys settings that you guys are, are thinking about right like what how do you implement the stoke rsi k and d values well we're we're working on that so um, join the uh, join the discord link is in the description and join the conversation there so we can kind of get an idea of what everybody wants to see in the next set of settings um, with that said we'll just jump into the Bitcoin chart so as you can see here yesterday this is everything we had drawn and it looks like we bounced perfectly right at this 0.382 line right at this um, this bluish trend line that acted as support so I'm hoping that this this level down here, what, what was it, 74, 54, somewhere in that range, um, it, it appears that's where we, we had a nice little bounce. And so this is on the daily chart. If we zoom into the four hour, we can see a very similar looking chart here. And we can see that we actually bounced off it on the four hour twice. So we'd have to move this, this guy a little bit here, maybe there. Um, but as you can see that, we definitely bounced off that. We're, we're testing this resistance level of this uh, 100 candle EMA right here. Um, if we zoom back out to the one day, we can kind of get an idea um, of the next daily resistance will be somewhere up in this, you know, right near this 200 day uh, EMA. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm keeping an eye out for, for whatever happens if we get rejected from this resistance level. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this is, this is going to play out and I'm hoping to see some impulsive candles coming out of this, um, and, and sort of see Bitcoin kind of explode over the next week or so, um, to kind of finish this five wave. Um, just be aware if this is, you know, a true Elliott wave count and this is going to be a five wave, um, which I'm not guaranteeing by any means, but if it is, you know, this is the point to take profits when you get up in this range. So uh, whatever that would be, 9,200 or so, somewhere in that range. And you can look back at previous price action. Um, I would say it's it's probably going to come up and retest these. I don't think it's going to go to 10,000. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of have to play it by ear and see. But that's kind of where you want to start taking profits because Elliott Wave Theory says at the end of a, you know, a three wave and the end of a one wave, end of a five wave, you're going to see that correction. So... Um, you know, don't don't be afraid to take your profits. That's kind of what we're in the game for. So that's what I'm looking at. Nothing too crazy there. Um, this change log is crazy. So new exchanges, KuCoin and Huobi. Um, you know, there's there's easy config switching. You you can now update features in the the GUI with uh, basic editing features. It's simpler editing. No need to worry about typos. Um, there's tool tips to understand each parameter, drop down menus, there's error, ch or error checking. This is, that's all really cool. What I'm really excited for is these new buying strategies. So the Stoke RSI K, the Stoke RSI D, basically that's, we can get into that down here. And what I'll do is I've been told I need to make these bigger. So if you can't see these now, I'm sorry. So this is the Stoke RSI right here on screen on the bottom. And we've talked about this in multiple videos before. So this blue line is the fast moving average. This red or this orangish line is the, the slower moving average. And when you get these crosses between these two um, EMA lines on this, on this stochastic chart or the stochastic indicator, when you get a cross 
in the downward direction from the fast crossing the slow, you, you call that bearish divergence. And so you saw that here. And what that equates to essentially is simply price action. So when we got this, when we got this bearish divergence here, you actually did see that on the chart. You can see right in here when we, we had that cross, we actually did have a negative six or seven percent decrease in price action. And the same thing is true up at the top of this three wave here. Um, we're having this bearish divergence right about here. And if you look where that's occurring is it's occurring right in here and look exactly where we went. We dropped about 12 to 13%. So it's, it's a pretty darn good indicator. I actually really do like using the stochastic or the stochastic RSI. Um, and now with the new profit trailer buying strategies, we're going to be able to, <coughs> excuse me, fully implement these, uh, these indicators the way they're meant to be, right? So now they're actually mimicking what is happening in trading view. So that is going to be really cool. And we're going to be able to go in and tr change these K and these D lengths to hone in however we want. You know, you can change this to five, you can change this to seven, whatever you want. Um, I don't recommend doing that, but, um, you know, three and three is pretty standard. So I would keep it there. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's going to be really cool. So then the next thing I'm really excited for is the smarter trailing. So everybody knows about the trailing profit, the trailing buys. And basically what that is saying is you set these parameters to basically trailing profit is you set a trailing profit parameter that says if the price is increasing by X amount, you know, if it's going up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven percent, whatever, don't sell that coin until it has dropped X amount, whatever your trailing profit is. So say you're trailing profit and, and this is tough to do on a, what is this, the daily chart? So it's, it's a little bit more difficult to, to kind of visualize on the daily chart. But essentially, if you bought your coin down here and you're using, say this was just like a 15 minute candle or something and it, it skyrockets 10% in 15 minutes. And it goes up, it keeps going up to, we'll just use 10 as an example. If you use trailing profit of say 0.25, it's not gonna sell this coin until it dips 0.25. So that would be right in this area, 9.75%. So basically what that allows you to do is instead of just selling immediately when you get to a 1% profit, it's allowing you to take part in the upswing and and only sell this coin if it dips you know 0.25 percent or 0.1 percent or whatever you your your target value is for that for that trailing profit and the same thing is true in the trailing buy so it's just in the reverse so if you wanted to buy here and the coin keeps tanking and tanking and tanking please don't buy this coin on this you know beginning of this downtrend wait until it goes all the way down and it retraces back up 0.25% and then you buy it. And then obviously that helps you, you know, mitigate some, some losses there and, uh, and give you a better chance at profit. So that's, that's going to be really cool. And what's cool about this new trailing profit trailing buy um, is you have a grow parameter, which trailing profit gets larger as the profit increases. And then the shrink parameter is the trailing profit gets smaller as the profit increases. So you can kind of tell it, listen, when, you know, if, if it's gone up maybe 10 or 12%, you know, I want to take profit quicker. Like I don't want it to dip 0.25%. I only want it to dip 0.1%. So sell at 9.9. Now you can do that, which is pretty cool. So this, this gives us a lot more functionality with the, the trailing strategies. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, Looks like you have a reset button. I haven't even fired this up yet. I need to fire this up. But long story short is I'm going to be going in and, and kind of overhauling, not necessarily overhauling my settings, but I'm going to definitely be incorporating some of this, these new buying strategies because I've been waiting for these um, to come out. And especially with the stochastic RSI cross, that's going to be, that's going to be nice. Cause then what you can do is you can tell profit trailer, when the stochastic RSI crosses one time, 
in you know a bearish mode i want to i want to sell this is bearish divergence i want to sell on bearish divergence so that's a good idea you know i, I think that's great but even better is i want to buy on bullish divergence right here we saw bullish divergence and look at that all the way until the bearish divergence on the stochastic rsi you could have made i mean roughly 20 percent on that one trade if you were just using the stochastic which you probably wouldn't be using just one indicator it's a little bit um, aggressive but that's going to be really cool because now we can use these crosses and you can use one cross two cross three crosses whatever you want um, that's going to be nice so i'm excited about that um, and then what i want to do next is just you know you guys can read all this this is on the profit trailer github um, what i want to do next is jump into the pt feeder stuff real briefly is this is going to be sick because now and i'm sure not a lot of people have read through this i've read through this multiple times this is the pairs properties available so this is for groupings we can create our own groupings now um so price trend change is a grouping um you know it says max price trend change percentage whatever um kind of confusing languages but i this is going to be nice so these are all the pairs properties that you're you're able to use in your calculations so I know that this is a little bit more complex than most kind of want to get, but this is opening up the realm of feeder to allowing you to do a lot of really, really cool things. Um, same with the market properties available. And basically they run through a worked example. So it says, let's say we wanted to create a grouping that reacted on the relative price or the relative percentage change of a coin compared to its base coin. This is exactly what I was talking about in my video a couple of days ago is when you're trading Bitcoin pairs, you have to worry about a lot of things. You have to worry about the price of the coin that you're trading. So say we bought XRP with Bitcoin. You have to worry about not only XRP's price, but you also have to worry about the Bitcoin price rising or falling. And so the idea of trading Bitcoin pairs is to accumulate more Bitcoin. In order to do that, your XRP value needs to outpace the value of bitcoin and so up until implementing something like this 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 worked example here it's it's much more difficult to you know implement settings to to kind of make sure that you are are outpacing the coin that you're buying and so what this example will do what it's saying right here is we're going to more or less subtract the percentage change of bitcoin versus it's the coin that you just bought so say say bitcoin rose by five percent in an hour and xrp rose by six percent in an hour that means that relative to bitcoin xrp has outpaced it by one percent if that makes sense so that's kind of what you're trying to do is listen if xrp is not outpacing bitcoin over the past hour or two hours then i don't want to buy it because getting into that bag means either Bitcoin's rising really sharply or XRP is falling very sharply. And I don't want to get caught in a bag or a bad situation like that. So um, that's what this example is going over. And I'm going to try and um, not necessarily replicate this exact one. This actually does sound like a, a pretty smart move to, to have implemented in your app settings uh, file. But um, I'm going to try and get a little more tricky with, with different market conditions and different buying strategies um, like i was talking about in my last video and, and something that's cool is that it even says down here thoughts on how this can be used is you can look at the difference between different time trends which is exactly what i want to do if the four hour time trend or the time yeah time trend is more bearish than the the 15 minute then it may be an indicator that we're in a more bearish market than we are bullish or vice versa, right? Just depending on the example you use. So this, these sort of, you know, pair groupings or, or specific groupings like this is what I'm going to be implementing in my next set of settings to give us an edge. And, and I'm going to try and kind of tie these in to, to using them with Defender as well. So I'm actually, I'm really pumped about all this, um, should give us a, a nice little edge. So with that, please join the Discord, uh, join the conversation in there and what kind of stuff you might want to see in the next set of settings. And I'll try and get those out within the next few days.
So with that said, leave a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. I really appreciate that. Helps the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.